Hey guys, Max here. I'm back with another DIY project. This time we're making a powerful emergency flashlight with an incandescent light bulb. We're also going to make this torch steampunk looking, which is going to be another highlight of the project. Anyway, without wasting any more time, let's make this steampunk looking incandescent emergency torch. Let's get started. Let's start by making the torch's 12 volt battery. As you may notice, these are salvaged laptop cells. For the soldering lead to stick to the cell's terminals, we're going to need to dremel down any excess spot welded metal. You're going to want to place three of the batteries in a triangular formation, like so, and then connect them up in series. Roll in the other three battery cells and do the same exact thing with those. Now we have a couple of identical 12 volt 3 cell batteries which will be paralleled. Which means you're going to want to have the negative terminal of one battery connect to the negative terminal of another and so on with every joint as well. The like ends from each of the batteries will be connected. We haven't completed the battery yet, we're going to need to add one of these which is a BMS or battery management system. This one's a 12 volt 3 cell 10 amp BMS. You're going to connect the positive terminals of both batteries to where it says B plus and the negative terminals to where it says B minus. The first battery cell connection point after the negative terminal will be soldered to where it says B1 on the board and B2 connects the second battery joint. After soldering on a pair of output wires to where it says P positive and P negative, it is important that you put an insulative material between the two batteries themselves to prevent short circuiting. After ta taping it all up, you should be done with the battery. Next, we're going to make a battery charging indicator using the following components. Using the potentiometer, you should be able to adjust at what point the battery should indicate full during charging. Add a female DC connector to the circuit board. This is what the charger will plug into. Next you're going to add an on off switch coming from the battery's positive end. Then let's hook up the circuit board we just made to the battery. Solder a wire to the on side of the switch. Then solder a black wire to the negative battery end. Then those two wires connect to the positive and negative ends of the circuit board. But as I then realized that was the wrong way of connecting the positive wire, how you should actually connect the positive wire is to the positive battery terminal through a shot key barrier diode. That way the battery charging indicator will only light up when you charge it. Now it's time to encase the electronics into a 2 inch PVC pipe. To get the switch sitting in the PVC, you're going to have to desolder it and then stick it in through the top and connect it that way. This is the 12 volt 35 watt automotive halogen light bulb that we're going to use for this torch. One of the best ways you can connect the wires to the light bulb is by crimping on these ring loops onto the wires which will then screw on to the light bulb. Around the base of the halogen bulb you'll notice these three tabs. Now you can use them to your advantage to get the bulb sitting well and firm inside the PVC housing. With the help of your soldering iron you can easily melt them into the plastic.
cut out a circular plastic cover for the bottom of your torch. Plugging in the 12 volt adapter's DC jack, you can see that it indicates red. From a soda can, cut out a semicircle that is 20 centimeters in diameter. This will be the hood of the torch. Be sure to wrap it together in a cone shaped way like so and then super glue it. At the same time making sure that you're super gluing it to the base of the bulb. Okay guys, so we finished making the incandescent or halogen torch itself. It's pretty bright and the battery lasts for quite a while I can tell, but to keep it from looking like one of those torches from the 80s, we gotta add that one more final touch to it. Its final touch would be to make it a bit steampunk looking. Now what is steampunk? Well steampunk is a sort of vintage and retro futuristic genre of science fiction, inspired by 19th century industrial machinery. So what are we waiting for? Let's get to making it look steampunk themed. Alright everyone, that is all for this DIY project where we made this really cool and powerful incandescent or halogen torch. Personally, I'm quite pleased with the end result, especially the look of it. LED lights in general are pretty harmful for your eyes, in case you didn't know, compared to incandescent light. So incandescent light is closer to having sun around. It's definitely a lot more eye friendly and it's not going to ruin your eyesight. It also keeps you warm. It's pretty warm when you put your hand in front of it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit it a like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on my Instagram and let me know if you want to see me make more steampunk gadgets, sort of like a steampunk series. That's all for now and thanks for watching. Peace!